my name is PG, let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to make this pinch zoom out transition. Now if you haven't watched my AV basics tutorial, I suggest you go watch that. So it teaches you the basics on how to keyframe and everything like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna just show you again right here. So I have my clips cut up like this. And we're, gonna, we're gonna ignore these, just these two clips right here. And then I'm going to add adjustment clips above them. So I can just go to my clip bin over here and add my adjustment clips like this, put it across and let's just duplicate it right on top of this clip right here. And so we have two empty adjustment clips here. And so we're gonna start the first part and we're gonna do a zoom out. We're gonna go here, we have our media in, and then we're gonna grab a transform node, this one like, like this with the arrows like that. And we're gonna attach it to our spline graph like this. Then we are going to go to the end of our comp. We're gonna keyframe the size like this. We're gonna, get, we're gonna go about four or five frames back. Go one, two, three, four, just like that. Or maybe even three. And at this keyframe, what we're actually gonna do is put a value of 1.2. This is how we're gonna do our zoom out. So in order to, to not show motion tile or the size of our edit, if we go further back like this, we are just going to keep it at one and we're going to start our whole clip zoomed in like this. So after that, we're going to go into our spline graph. So we'll go up to here where it says spline and we can see our transform one. It just hit size like this. If we control F, it will center all these keyframes into here. And then if we hit control A, it'll select all the keyframes. And so the handlebars will pop up and then we can take our handlebars and adjust it like this. So the zoom out will be like that and then you have zoom out like this i would kind of even make this a little bit weaker like that and like this and you have something like that so that'll be the first part of your zoom out and then you have the second part so we're going to go inside this adjustment clip diffusion we are going to add another transform node just like this and we're going to keyframe at the beginning we're going to have it about two two point five to three i would do two point five right now I, and we're going to go towards the end of our comp. I mean, it doesn't matter where exactly in the end. I'm just going to go to the end right here, though. And then we're going to keyframe again. And then we're going to change this value back to 1. And then we're going to hit open up our spline graph again. Click this node. And then you can even drag this into here to see our spline graph. We're going to hit control A again to select it all. We're going to make a graph like this. And something like that. And if we look at everything, we have something like this. And then you know, Put it all together, we have a zoom out transition like this. And then next we are going to add our dent. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add a adjustment clip that is about one frame long or three frames that you saw earlier. Let's just do the one frame one right now. So let's do that. And we're gonna put it at the end of our first part of the transition. We go inside it and put this down. We're gonna click our media in, we're gonna type in hit shift space and then type in dent like this. I'm gonna add the first one we see to bring the size up like that to our viewer and if we could change our type to dent 2 or dent 3 and we are to bring our strength down like this to the number about here we can go for this dent we're going to do about negative 0.3 if we go further than that it might go too much of a warp that we don't want so that should be good and if we go out and play this back we will see that we have something like this it's really quick and i bet it gives it a lot of impact if you don't have it there like you can see our transition like this it's like very very light on the impact but if we put it with a dent you can see that it gives it a little bit more impact and what i did below this as you saw in the example is i put shakes if you don't know how to do expression shakes i'll look at the tutorial on how to do that right here otherwise i'm just going to add some shakes that i have already preset okay there we got it and now we have a pinch zoom out just like this and doing it for one frame is what i commonly do because I, I saw rasa do it like this in our collab like that it's like that he does it there he also does it here and then so in my part i do it here just like that so yeah just do the three frames pinch so let's bring this out a little bit more we're going to bring our adjustment clip here we're going to drag it so it's three frames on our adjustment clip then we go inside fusion with it just like that and then this time we're going to keyframe so let's keyframe this part our strength right there and let's bring our playhead to the beginning we're going to keyframe this again and then we're going to go to around uh negative right there and that should work and then we can just have it like that and then we can also adjust the spline but it should be fine like this if you're interested in seeing what other types of transitions are possible in davinci resolve click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day